We move on to the Indian Ocean and the new energy tonight in the search for the black boxes and that missing passenger plane. The search area tonight is one-tenth the size it was at the start, and ABC's Clayton Sandell shows us the perils three miles down at the bottom of the ocean. Two dozen ships and planes today searching the Indian Ocean from above amid growing confidence about what lies below. We have very much narrowed down the search area and we are very confident uh, that the signals that we are detecting are from the black box on MH370. But those signals haven't been heard since Tuesday and without them, no way to home in. So teams will soon turn to using this sonar scanner to begin looking for wreckage. It's slow going. How long would it take? It's uh, probably a month and a half to two months of effort. It takes so, that long. Yes, it, it does. The seafloor here rests under 15,000 feet of water, a remote pitch black alien landscape of plains and mountains 12,000 feet high. When or if Malaysia 370's black boxes are finally located, a remotely operated sub like this will bring them up. The ROV will go down and it will actually comb through the, the debris field looking for the black boxes and any other items that the investigators need to help identify with the cause of the crash. It is a mystery of clues hidden at the bottom of a vast ocean that may take years to solve. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Perth, Australia.